Good morning and thanks for joining us. We have a great looking show for you today. We'll show you the latest trends in prom dresses and get a preview of some hot spring and summer fashions. But we start today with a look at a dish that might get a little messy to eat in a dress, but it's so worth it. Here's Nellie Shuto with more. Hi, I'm Nellie Shuto. I'm with general manager Eddie Suarez of El Chico Restaurant in Richland Hills. Hi Nellie, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing real good. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Today you're going to show us how to make your very special nachos, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, we're kicking off uh, Nacho Average Monday because it's not an average Monday. All our nachos and all our draft beer are half price all day on Mondays. All day? All day. Okay, you wanna, you're going to show us how to make these nachos. Sure. Let's see I'll how, show you let's how, see how to do it real quick. Uh, they're so easy, you can make them at home. Uh, the only thing is I can't tell you all our secrets. Yeah, I was, that was my next question. Can you give us a secret recipe? But you've got to come in here and enjoy them. Exactly, exactly. And when you're making the nachos, make sure that you put the beans all the way to the side of the tortillas. That way, uh, anything that's not covered is going to burn. Okay. So make sure you get it all the way on the side. The next thing you want to do is put some uh, nice cheddar cheese that we shred every morning. It's cheddar mm -hmm. cheese and monterey jack cheese. Mm -hmm. You want to cover all the beans. You want to get some of your beef. You want to spread some of that out. And you want to put it in here right before you put it on the oven. Okay. That way the cheese kind of holds the beef and the chicken fajitas. Okay. Okay, stick it in the oven for three minutes. This is a finished product right here of what we just did. Okay. Okay, you're okay gonna it's have, all cut up. You're going to have your combination fajita nachos with some tomatoes on top, guacamole, sour cream mix, uh, dash with a little bit of Cajun seasoning, and some jalapenos on the side. That way if there's someone on the table who doesn't like jalapenos, you're not going to mess them up with the juice or anything like that. They can put it on there themselves. Another kind that we have is our Fiesta Nachos. A Fiesta Nacho is just a mountain of chips. Uh -huh. And then we put some refried beans, some ground beef, some chili, and some queso. Top it off with some Monterey Jack cheese and cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Melt it. Put a scoop of guacamole, sour cream, jalapenos, and tomatoes as a garnish. Okay. Another classic that we have are combination nachos. This is just refried beans and ground beef. Mm -hmm. uh, we cook our ground beef every morning. There's just three of our nachos, but we have a whole variety of them. So there you have it. Come by on a Monday for Nacho Average Monday and celebrate half price nachos, half price beer, and a great family event. And I promise you, the general manager, Eddie Suarez, will take care of you. See you then. Thanks, Nellie. El Chico has several locations in DFW. To find the one nearest you, visit them online at elchico.com. If you're craving something sweet instead, how about some cookies? And not just any ordinary cookies, but a delicious brand that is as unique as the man who created them. Catherine Dunn brings us this story of Wacom's Kitchen. I'm here at Wacom's Kitchen with Paul, who we obviously had to come dressed for the occasion, because Paul, there's something very unique about your kitchen. You wear a certain hat whenever you cook. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually wear the hats when I cook, but I do wear them whenever I demo in stores or work in the farmer's markets. So tell me a little bit about the history of the hats, because this is pretty unique to a bakery. When I started in the fall of 2008, uh, it was the winter, so it was October, moved into winter, I needed something to keep my head warm, and my very first hat was one my goddaughters gave me from Austria. And I put some vintage red feathers in them, and the rest is kind of history. So I think now our viewers are, know why we're wearing these crazy hats. One would hope. <laughs> so these cookies are really good. Without giving away any of the secrets, tell me what makes these cookies so good apart from the rest. We make a crunchy cookie. They're all made with natural ingredients, so real butter, cane sugar, unbleached, unbromated flour, aluminum-free baking powder, and cage-free eggs. From there, then, the flavor profiles are unique within the marketplace and uh, even unique within their category. We um, ship all over Texas now. We're in Whole Foods in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas and a couple of big chains in Southern California and then mom and pops around the country. So do you think we could go back in the kitchen and you can teach me how to make these cookies? If you're game. I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> Now 
that's how you do it. So I don't know about you, but all this cooking has made me so hungry, and I want to try these cookies. Excellent. So we have our number one cookies of salted caramel. Okay. I'm going to try that one. So as I said, they've made with real butter and cane sugar. It's the one the Dallas Morning News keeps talking about. I can, I can see why. It's so good. And it's the one that gets us in all the stores. Mm -hmm. Well, every single one was so good. I mean, I can't even pick a favorite. Yay! <laughs> and my work is done. Yay! <laughs> Great job, Catherine. You can order all the tasty varieties of Wackham's cookies, find the store nearest you that carries them, and much more at Wackhamskitchen.com. Time for our first break, but don't go anywhere. Rebecca brings us her latest binge report, and I've got a crafty idea for your next evening out when we return. Today with Candace is brought to you by Best Stocks Live. Get well, stay well, live well. You need to take care of your back. You only have one, and it's gonna get worse as you grow older. Well, first of all, we know about lifting with your legs, not with your back. Well, that goes without saying. Uh, if you do have back pain, or if you are prone to back problems in your family, you want to avoid prolonged sitting. When we put little pressure needles in the spine at the low part of the back, and measure the pressure in the uh, spinal column and in the disc spaces between the vertebral bodies, when we measure those sitting, the pressures are much higher than standing or lying down. So if you're having back pain, don't sit for prolonged periods. Uh, if you're driving places or in an airplane, get up, you know, walk around in the airplane or park your car and uh, take a walk. Uh, the other thing is to avoid uh, being obese. I mean, the more obese you are, the more you have to use your back to support the obesity. So weight loss is good for so many things, including low back pain. Anti-inflammatories can help. They can not only relieve the pain, but they can relieve inflammation, especially if taken before you do an activity that tends to aggravate your own back. Ever wonder why it seems that your child always gets sick in the middle of the night or on a holiday? Or how about at work when you don't have time to make an appointment to see a doctor? And this is my favorite. You go to one of those corner urgent care centers only to be sent home to wait for a call when they can see you hours later. There really never is a good time to get sick. All you want to do is talk to a doctor quick and get relief. Well, that summarizes what Best Docs Live is all about. An online system allowing you to speak to a physician, not a nurse practitioner or physician's assistant, and have the doctor evaluate the situation, make a diagnosis, and if warranted, electronically send a prescription to your neighborhood pharmacy. No hassle, no waiting, no scheduling issues. Just go to bestdocslive.com, follow the easy navigation instructions, and resume your normal activities. So the next time the bug hits you or your family, there's only one thing you need to remember, bestdocslive.com. It was really difficult uh, for my husband and I. I was taking injections twice a day. I was also taking about 17 different supplements. We had to find a way to take the 17 pills and, and how, do you, how do you take that and make it five pills? We narrowed it down to six core principal ingredients to give us the best fertility supplement on the market. There's nothing else, all six, no fluff. Hey, Rebecca Black here with the latest edition of The Binge Report. Uh, this one is for all you video gamers out there. I'm gonna get real for a second. I am terrible at video games, like real bad. I can basically pay, play Tetris and some old school Super Mario Brothers, but really that's about it. I actually don't understand how the new remote controls work now. My husband tried to teach me one time how to play Call of Duty, and let's just say it ended with screaming and ripping the controller right out of my hands. I mean, heaven forbid I wreck his precious score, Bleh. So these binge-worthy videos today are all about video games, and for those of us who have no game. 
So let's kick things off with a classic war game starring Matthew Broderick, who is a super smart computer nerd who actually ends up hacking into the government's nuclear weapon system and almost destroys Earth by playing tic-tac-toe. Shall we play a game? How can I ask you that? How about global thermal nuclear war? Fine. All right. <laughs> Man, how awesome are those computer graphics? Not to mention that super high-tech robot voice. Shall we play a game? Man, I love the 80s. Which is probably why I also chose another movie from the 80s called The Wizard, starring Fred Savage and Luke Edwards, a guy you've never heard of. It's a story about the introverted little boy who also happens to be a video game genius. Look at him. He's a wizard. He's headed for the video championship. <laughs> this guy. This flick follows three kids across the country who are desperate to get into a video game competition and win $50,000. Uh, not sure if you noticed, but this whole movie is like an ad for Nintendo. It also could be considered probably the first in a long line of movies about actual video games. FYI, Hollywood is actually making a Tetris movie right now. I don't, I don't get it either. And then finally, we've got Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which stars Michael Cera, who has to battle it out with his girlfriend's seven evil exes. I'm Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. What? Wait, we're fighting over Ramona? Didn't you get my email explaining the situation? I skimmed it. Mm -mm. The whole movie has this whole video game type feel. There's a lot of fighting. It's a lot of fun. And this is unlike any movie I've ever seen. Plus, you got Chris Evans, cameo, yeah baby, if only he took up his shirt. So that's it for today. See you next time on The Binge Report. Thanks, Rebecca. Having a hobby is a great way for people to relax, and one new place in McKinney is providing a stress-free way for those who want to enjoy their art without any worries. Take a look. If you want to make a craft but don't want to drag out all the stuff and make a huge mess in your house, then you need a crafty night out. And joining me now is Bonnie with Crafty Night Out. So Bonnie, tell me, what is Crafty Night Out? Crafty Night Out is a place where people can come, make some crafts that they feel good about hanging in their house or displaying in their home, and they can leave the mess here with me. What has the reaction been so far since you've opened? Everyone has just loved it. They're like, man, I love coming to just have a good time. I actually get to sit and talk to my friends. You know, if you go to the movies, you don't get to sit and hang out with your friends and catch up. Right. And then you get to take something great home that you actually are proud of and you made. Hey, Candice, how's it going? Hey, I think okay. You tell me. Yeah, it's looking great. Good. You've got your black stripes going and your stencil. Yeah, slowly but surely, making some progress. So walk us through um, what a night or a day looks like at Crafty Night Out. So a night at Crafty Night Out is um, you're just going to get a group of friends together, come over here, bring some wine or some snacks or whatever you want to drink, come on over to my shop, Sit, I have everything ready for you. The paint, the wood, the stencils, um, the shape patterns. I have everything for you. You just show up. You just show up. <laughs> we have ribbons to make bows and hangers. There's really nothing you need to bring except for yourself to have a good time. That's so nice. As a stay-at-home mom, uh, it's nice to do something for myself every now and then, and it gives me some quiet time away from the house, and I just love to paint. I work a lot, so this is like a huge break for me to come in and enjoy it. It's a great atmosphere, very calm in here. You know, I craft through everyone here, which is like the most exciting thing. I, nice. I see people who come up with things that I would have never thought of on my own. And then I also get to help those people who say, I'm not a crafter, help me. And I help them create something that they are so proud of and they can't believe that they made. Crafty Night Out offers both private parties and open classes. Go to craftynightout.com to see their calendar of events and to book your visit. And if you're curious how mine turned out, 
Ta-da! Pretty good if I must say so myself. Thanks, Bonnie. Break time on the show, but when we come back, we're talking prom dresses and pageant gowns with Shimmer Boutique. Keep it here. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. Looking to start your day with the latest in home, health and beauty, and leisure trends in DFW? Then be sure to watch Today with Candace every weekday on KTXC Texas 47. Hosted by me, Candace Kruger, our show will feature fun and informative stories about the people and places who are making DFW a healthier, more beautiful place to live. Today with Candace, weekday mornings at 9 a.m. on KTXD Texas 47. At New You Bariatric Center, we offer a comprehensive approach to weight loss. Support for emotional, behavioral, and nutritional changes are emphasized in addition to expert surgical care. One surgery does not fit all. Dr. Hodges and I are both board-certified surgeons with proven track records in every type of weight loss surgery. We know this is an important decision and look forward to helping you start your journey. Contact New You Bariatric Center for your consultation today. A new you is waiting. Welcome back. With spring here, most kids will be looking forward to the end of the school year. But before that, many will be planning their proms. If your daughter wants to sparkle and shine on her special night, then look no further than Shimmer. I'm here in historic downtown Carrollton at Shimmer Boutique, and joining me now to tell us all about Shimmer is Larissa. Hi, Larissa. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good. Good to see you. You too. So tell us what all you have here at Shimmer. Well, Shimmer is a one-stop prom and pageant store. I offer everything from simple to red carpet and pageant. And everything in between, and everything right? everything in between, yes. <laughs> Homecoming, bathing suits cocktail dresses, and second weddings. It's basically a one-stop shop if you have somewhere fancy to go. Definitely this is the place to be. Tell us about some of your price points. Well, I offer something for everybody. So I offer anywhere from a budget to a moderate to a, a high end. Whatever your budget is, I offer it. You'll find something for yes, them. Yes, for sure. Wonderful. And with prom right around the corner, what would you say are some of the trends this year? Definitely two pieces, lace ball gowns, um, simple red carpet, um, pretty much a mix from simple to glitzed. Okay. And what would you say sets Shimmer apart from other dress shops? Well, I'm very much on customer service, and I have a big selection for a small store. So everything in my store is one of a kind. So I offer over a thousand styles in my small little shop. Well, I'd love to take a look at some of these gorgeous dresses. Yes, we have Caroline Miss Texas and Heather, our Miss Texas Outstanding Team, that will be modeling a few dresses. Great, let's take a look. Sure. Thanks to Miss Texas, Caroline Carruthers, and Miss Texas Outstanding Teen, Heather King, for helping us out. For more information about Shimmer, visit them online at shimmerboutique.com. 
Time for one last break, but stick around. Our fashion preview with Dillard's is coming up next. We'll be right back. It was really difficult uh, for my husband and I. I was taking injections twice a day. I was also taking about 17 different supplements. We had to find a way to take the 17 pills and, and how, do you, how do you take that and make it five pills? We narrowed it down to six core principal ingredients to give us the best fertility supplement on the market. There's nothing else, all six, no fluff. Sweetheart, think about your future. Jeff over there did, and just look at him. He saved up, bought a house, he's got a beautiful wife, they even had a fancy pants destination wedding, and oh, oh, they had a baby! Ah! Smart and handsome, ooh, la la. Ah. Now, I've been saving these frames for pictures of my future grandbabies for years. And the shopping sprees on organic clothing and eye telephone cases is not helping you save for a family. Oh, gracious! Look at that! He's a model! <gasps> I bet you he's putting all that money right into a 401k or his baby's college fund. And his teeth are so straight. See how good saving can look at feedthepig.org. Feed the pig. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes and way over here. Busy moms. Today with Candace has been brought to you by Best Stocks Live. Get well, stay well, live well. Welcome back. It's time to talk spring and summer fashion, and here to tell us what's going to be hot this season is Melissa Adair, Communications and Events Director for Dillard's. Melissa, thanks for being here today. It's good to be here. Um, you know, Dillard's is a one-stop destination for fashion and beauty for the whole family, and this season is no different, but we have so many amazing trends for the ladies. And one of my favorite trends is this Baja Beach style. It's got so many great colors. It's filled with embroidery and tassels, in this really laid back California cool style. And I've got some models here today to give us a little Yay. sneak peek of that. I so. think we might recognize these models. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look. First up is Danielle, and I love this dress. This is from Gianni Benny. Uh, this great little mustard color is really flowing and just beautiful on her with the high-low silhouette. And then it's got that great cold shoulder detail, so it's Love open that. on the shoulders. Yes. And then um, going down to her feet, these shoes are from Steve Madden. Those are so cute. Aren't these fun? This is just the epitome of Baja. I love the little interchangeable pom-poms there with the great little beadwork. Mm -hmm. And then as far as accessories, we accessorize with um, Kate Spade tassel earrings and coordinating necklace and a nice little furla bag in that matching mustard color. Super cute. Get her on a plane to the beach. I know, right? <laughs> so cute. And then next up, we've got Rebecca here with another little casual Baja mm. look. Uh -huh. This is a cute little gauze top from Figaro and Flower. I love the embroidery detail here on the sleeves. And then it's got nice little lace detail around the yoke. We paired it back to denim from Buffalo. Uh, what I love about this denim is it's got that release him. So you mm -hmm. see the nice little frayed edges, which is a big trend. That's fun. And then going back to this embroidery detail, I love this little flat espadrille. Um, this is from Gianni Benny, and it just really coordinates so back to the cute. sleeve. And it looks comfy too. Yes, it's so on trend. Uh -huh. Love this. And then of course we um, have a great little tassel bag from Fossil, which oh, coordinates yeah. back to that pretty little necklace there with the tassel as well. Love it. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> All right, and then last for our Baja look, we've got Catherine. Now, I love this look. This is a great off-the-shoulder denim chambray top from H. Halston. Mm -hmm. You know, off-the-shoulder has been such a huge trend this season, and I love it here paired with the soft pant in this great print. What I really love about this pant is that it's fitted at the top and then flares out, so you get a really nice fit to really show off her figure. And then, of course, with that wide leg at the bottom, when she walks, you do get to see a little peekaboo of that 
great shoe from Jessica Simpson. Oh, Thank you, cute. Catherine. It's adorable. And then we paired it back to these beautiful earrings from Anna and Ava, the oversized tassel, and then a gorgeous bag with the tassels as well. Very fun. Yeah, I need those earrings for sure. Yes, those are yeah. adorable. I love all the tassels. Now, I want to point out, you're also kind of channeling this Baja look. Yes, I didn't even know that we were going to be talking Baja, <laughs> but yes. So my dress is also, of course, from my, my whole ensemble is from Dillard's. Yes, love French it. Connection dress, Kate Spade shoes, which I love. The tassels again. Yeah, and then my Anna and Ava accessories, bracelets, and the tassel earrings, which I love. And I love these because they're nice and light. Right, they're so and, pretty. And I love your dress, too. Thank you. You know, this is from Nicole Miller. And, you know, while the models are changing clothes into their next looks, I have to point out that uh, Nicole Miller herself will actually be at North Park Dillard's on Wednesday, April 12th from 5.30 to 7.30. Very cool. So this is a wonderful opportunity to check out her collection and meet her. Meet her in um, person. Yes. Maybe so, have her sign the inside of your dress. Hey, you never know. You <laughs> never know. So um, this is a perfect segue. My dress is floral. Our next group of models are going to be wearing feminine florals to uh, check nice. off that trend. So let's take a look at them as well. Yes, can't wait. All right, here is Rebecca. Rebecca is wearing a beautiful dress from Tahari. I love this watercolor mm, floral so print. So pretty. Yes, I love this this kind of shift style. Mm -hmm. um, it's very flattering. And then the bell sleeves, that's a really big trend this season as well. And then we just popped her look with some pink heels from Jessica Simpson, and she is ready to go very effortlessly. Love it. Thanks, Rebecca. And next up, Danielle is back and she's so spring ready. You know, this blue and white stripe pattern is so on trend. And again, the bell sleeves and these are tiered. So this is very on trend, oh, very those are cute. cute. Yes, and then the crop pant with the little side slit. So that's adorable. And they show off her shoe. Uh -huh. the, the, the strappy nude shoe is a must, a have. must have. right. Everyone needs a nude mm -hmm. shoe. And then the oversized bag from Vince Camuto really pulls it together. And to stick with our floral theme, we added a little floral necklace. Cute. Thanks, Danielle. And last, I love this look on Catherine. We paired um, a beautiful dress here from Antonio Milani with a white blazer, also from Milani, which she could wear with or without it. And Catherine, yes, if you just want to take that off to show off this oh, beautiful dress. Oh, I love that detail yes. around the neckline. The lace is gorgeous. Beautiful. And then around the hem, you'll notice that it's got a little bit of a peekaboo mm -hmm. where the lace um, kind of shows through. It's just gorgeous. And then we paired it back to a Calvin Klein color block heel little strappy shoe there mm -hmm. and it really just pulls the whole look together and she's ready for Easter for spring and um, that is our spring love look. it yes. I've been admiring this dress on the website so I'm so glad to see it in person yes. thanks Catherine and thanks Melissa I love all the looks yes. it's always so fun to see what's coming up and of course we've got the best models in town so definitely <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks so much for being here of course and that's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if it deals with your home, your health and beauty, or how to spend your leisure time in DFW, then we'll be talking about it. Check us out at todaywithcandice.com and follow us on social media. We'll be here every weekday morning at 9 a.m., but if you can't join us, then be sure to set your DVR. See you next time. Wardrobe for Today with Candace provided by Dillard's, the style of your life.